Hello and good morning everybody. This is Aspect. I'm Perry McCants and we are back for another episode of dealing with the documentary of Perry McCants Sr. Good morning, Dad. How you doing this morning? Oh, uh, good morning, son. And how are you this morning? I am wonderful and excellent. Glad to hear about it. All right. So the last time we left off, we was dealing with uh, you you going over to Germany, being in the military. Uh, you done met mom, which is Tina McCants, and y'all have gone over to Germany, and now you're traveling back. Now what I want to deal with is uh, the first question I want to ask you is when did, when did, like, when did y'all start to prepare the marriage in terms of, like, uh, in my mind, I just want to know this and just you can answer once I finish. Like when you, when I'm thinking about a wedding and marriage, did y'all have a wedding planner? How did it go? Cause you know, no one knows, but did, did y'all sit down and plan it together? And um, what, what, you know, how did it get set up? What was the church stuff like that? And, and you know, the arrangements. So um, now that we are upon the wedding date that's coming up and y'all are getting married. So how, how did that process go about? And what was the first part of it? Okay. Interesting part about it was the fact that uh, uh, I was over stayed with uh, in Europe uh, for about a year. Okay. Then I came back. When I came back, I came back with a purpose in mind uh, to marry my wife or my girlfriend and take her back with me because I want her to experience a year over there of just going, to, uh, just doing nothing but just enjoying herself. Okay, so let me just get that right, because I think in my mind I was thinking about it differently. So you're saying that you got married, then took her over to Germany. So like, is that like the was that like the honeymoon or like the or just a time for a year to get to know one another type thing? Good point. I wanted to have a, a year honeymoon. That's awesome. Of, man. Of, of I like doing, that. Of doing nothing, and that's what happened. When we got back over there, I had the had the uh, the apartment ready for her. Okay. Uh, it was furnished, and uh, the government actually gave me all the furniture I needed. I didn't have to buy no furniture. And wow. we furnished didn't it. Didn't know that. That's right. We furnished, uh, they furnished the apartment for us. And then after that, uh, we started, uh, just started enjoying ourselves and going out to party. And uh, we're in the military, mm -hmm. after five o'clock, the time is yours until six o'clock the next morning. Wow, it's a lot of time. Yes, and see, we had plenty of time because of the fact that it was uh, and getting back to our, our doing 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 certain things for the marriage itself. We made sure that uh, we sat down and talked about everything that we was going to do. Okay. Uh, for for as money wise, and as far as uh, the people that she wanted to be in the wedding and all everything. So it wasn't nothing that was just threw her, threw together and just boom. We wanted to have it very, very uh, intimate. Definitely. Okay. So I wanted to be remembered the whole and, and all of that. And it was uh, it was, uh, was was really great because first of all, I, you know, I really, really wanted to be with her. Okay. I mean, no, if and now, yes, it was some beautiful women in in, in Europe. And I'd be lying if I said and said it wasn't. Right. But they weren't for me, and I say that from my heart. They weren't for me. Uh, I wanted to marry her. I said that before I left, and I I meant it. Now, what was what, now? What was uh, Europe like? What was the life like? Like with you and, and and my mother being there, how how was it over there? Like you know, in terms of the the festivities and how were the people and uh, y'all interacting with them? And I like must that. say, I've heard a lot of uh, stories about Europe, but my wife and I got a chance to enjoy all of those things that the people said it was negative, but it was beautiful. I got, we got a chance to walk on the Rhine uh, River. And the Rhine River runs through all, all of Europe. Okay. And it's a big place, and it's a beautiful place, and we would get on the yacht. Well, not a yacht, get on the bus, a big boat. Okay. And then you would go up and down the Rhine, and you would see things like uh, Frankenstein's Castle. Wow. Which is nice. still, which, which was still in operation. You know, it was Americanized, but it was still in operation. Okay. And you would see uh, uh, things like uh, castles that was over 2,000 years old. And my wife and I was, was able to go, go up there, and, and, it was, and the stone was so old until you could take, and, and take your hand and crush the gravel. Wow. 
Oh, that's so We got a chance to see her. And it, 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 I mean, and to go on and on, we got a chance to be on, on, the, on the North Sea, the English Channel, okay. and, and uh, things that you only hear about. Now, now let's back up a little bit, because mm -hmm. we did go forward. We understand that y'all had planned it and wanted it to be intimate. Okay, so what was, what was, where, okay, let's deal with this way. Where, where did y'all get married? Like, what was the, did y'all get married at church? Uh, yes, we did. That's what, that's another thing we wanted to do. Okay. We, and Abyssinian, Abyssinian Baptist Church. Okay. At that time, it was at uh, 12th and Mervine Street. Okay. Uh, and uh, it was a you know, it was a nice place, big place. My mother was there for many years. Okay, so this is all for Germantown. Uh, no, no, this is it's all for Germantown now. Oh, but, it was a different before, location, right? But before it was uh, located off of uh, Diamond Street, off of Twelfth and Diamond. Okay. And it was a big place then. And uh, matter of fact, the place that's on Germantown, mm -hmm. uh, it was it was even bigger than that. All right, so what was the year that y'all got married? We was married in uh, 1967. 1967? Yeah, I okay. mean, the, the, the year was nice and, I mean, beautiful. Guess what? Mm -hmm. It rained so hard. On the wedding day? On the wedding day. Wow. But guess what? It, it didn't stop nothing. Oh, I'm glad to hear that it didn't, because for <laughs> didn't some people, nothing. they would have had a meltdown and it would have been a mess. No. I'm glad to hear that it was a beautiful wedding and everything. So who was your best man? That's a good question. I had a couple of best men. One of them, uh, I'm trying to think now. One of them was uh, uh, my, uh, my brother-in-law, Ed, and okay. my, my brother-in-law, uh, Thomas Taylor. Okay. And uh, it was a couple more. Okay. Uh -huh. And so, how do you know? Um, was it a big like how, how like the wedding party? How many of y'all was it? It might it could be approximate. It might be approximate. It could be around about like so about how many people was in the wedding total? I would say, uh, and I said to be corrected, I said it's about twenty. About twenty. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, naturally, I had the other some more friends she had with her that came into the causes in the church. It was big. It was a lot of people. Okay. Involved into. It. All right, so we got a, a lot of information here. Um, so we found out, you know, what the what the wedding was like, and then uh, what uh, Perry McCann Senior and, and, and Tina Madeline McCants was like when they after the wedding they got a chance to live over in Europe for a year and everything like that. So this was awesome. I'm glad that we able to get this information. But when we come back. We're going to get into the area that they moved into, which is, of course, in Philly. Philly, Philly. Uh, you know, Philadelphia, um, the area. So, you know, putting a little bit of this on the map. And getting next time we're going to get into the area location, where they decided to move to and why, how that came about. Um, this is wonderful. Uh, we're going to keep this going, of course. Um, is there anything else you have to say in regards to the aspect of change? I'll just like to say I, I'll soon be 74 years old. Yes, yes. And I still remember the relationship with my wife. Awesome. I mean, that's beautiful. Uh, and, and, and let me tell you something. Uh, it's it's going to stay with me because of, because of her, uh, her her inside beauty. Right. Captivated right. me. And Absolutely. It, and it stayed there. No matter who I ran into afterwards, she was it. That's wonderful. Now, what I'll say is also, please like this video and subscribe if you want more content. Um, thanks for stopping by and uh, any comments you want to leave in the comment section, I welcome it. And until next time, take care.